Hey there, folks. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. I am Luke, and today I am reviewing the Snug Pack Hammock Under Blanket. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. Now, folks, as you can see here, this under blanket is in its compressed form. It's about the size of a soccer ball. I will go ahead and release the tension here so you guys can see what it looks like when it's not compressed. As you may know, an under quilt, an under blanket, is for use with a hammock. So you could camp out in the colder months, fall into winter. It does a good job of blocking out the wind while keeping you warm. You use this in conjunction with a sleeping bag or a top quilt. So as you can see here, it's uncompressed. This is the stuff sack. The fill for this blanket is polyester. It's called Travel Soft. This is from Snug Pack. This comes in at 51 ounces, which is 3.1 pounds or 1,450 grams. It is available in one color, which you see here, and this is an olive green color. When it comes to the measurements, this is 83 inches long and it has a width of 58 inches. The material for this blanket is very similar to the other blanket products from Snug Pack. You have the micro diamond fabric that includes the Paratex antibacterial treatment. Now, as we were doing a 360 of this product and going over the stats, I'm sure you guys noticed that there's some shock cord all around the perimeter of this under blanket. And that's because this is the way that you attach this to your hammock, to the tree, to your suspension system, however it is that you work it. Now, I will go ahead and string this up so you guys can see this in action. Now, folks, to set this up, it's fairly simple. I know a lot of people have problems with this, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this very, very easily, also very quickly. So basically, what you're going to do is lay out your under quilt, your under blanket underneath your hammock. So you're going to start at one end or the other, it really doesn't matter which, and you're going to grab the two tie-off points here in the center. Right? If you have followed the directions which were included, you have taken the shock cord and you have tied a slip knot into these pieces of shock cord. You're going to attach these to the carabiner of your hammock. Since you got one side done, it's time to go to the other. You're going to do the exact same thing. So just like that, you're almost done, but not quite. So now we have to work with the two outer lines, which we can attach to our suspension system, or we can attach it to the tree. These are very long pieces of shock cord, so you could do it either way. Now, it will take you a little bit of time to figure out what will work best, depending on the distance between the two trees that you're hanging from. So yeah, a little bit of experimentation, there's nothing wrong with that. For this distance here, I should be able to attach to this tree. I might have to attach to the suspension system on the other side though. So essentially, I'm going to pull these up a little bit higher than I have my suspension system. That way it will take that under quilt and fold it up and around my hammock. Since it's shock cord, this is very, very easy to do. So as you can see here, here are the two suspension lines, the shock cord going down to the under blanket. And check that out. It's like a banana, just like it's supposed to be. Covering up the hammock. So let's go to the other side. Let's see what will work best here. As you can see, these pieces of shock cord are very long, so you really can stretch them out as far as you need to. And I can see here that I can easily stretch these out around even this big tree here. So that's what I'm going to do. Of course, if I wanted to, I could go short and tie it off right here to the suspension system. All right, here's the next one. So folks, there you go. It is all set up. That took just a few minutes, not long at all. As you can see here, this is what it's going to look like when you have this all done. The hammock is in the middle. You're surrounded by the blanket. Now here in the middle of this blanket, you can see that you have tensioners and these are connected to the shock cord lines which you will attach to the tree or to your suspension system. With these tensioners here, this allows you to pull these lines tighter. So if you have any unnecessary sag, you can correct it. Now, just so you know, when you have this properly set up, the Snug Pack logo is facing outward. So you could see that rip stop, that diamond weave, that's on the outside. So here's my hammock on the inside, ready to rock and roll. So as you can see here, I'm sitting inside of the hammock and the blanket has essentially pulled down with me. It, it's moving with me because of the shock cord, which is a very nice feature. It's a very important feature. That way you could set this up and you can hop in it without any tension, without any lines breaking, any stitching breaking. 
that's why it's made from shock cord. Okay, get situated. Then you can adjust the blanket so that you're fully covered. Check that out. One thing that I really like about this system here is that it's very easy to adjust if you set it up this way. There are tie-off points here on the side so that if you have like a ridge line, you can essentially connect it to that ridge line to make sure that these don't go anywhere, that they don't move. Personally, the way that I've set it up allows for these to be pulled high and tight, but it also allows me the ability to adjust them. So let's say I'm in my hammock, I brought a sleeping bag or something that's a little bit too warm, and I'd like to get a little bit of air. I can raise one side so I can get more air from the other. Or if it's really windy on this side, I can raise it higher to block more of that wind out. Or of course, you can keep it right in the middle. So check that out. Not a bad system at all. As you can see here, it's nice and high to block out the wind, to keep you warm. So everyone, it really is that easy to set this thing up. You know, I've seen plenty of videos and I've seen enough articles. I know that people are confused by this, but this really is the easiest way to go. It's also the lightest way to go. I, I've seen some people like work out these crazy contraptions with lots of carabiners. It doesn't have to be that way. I mean, it can be if you wanted to. <laughs> That's just not the way that I personally want to. As I mentioned before, instructions are included. Very, very simple, shows you what to do all that good stuff. Now, when it comes to my review for this product, I have to give it a thumbs up. I really like it, especially for the price point. This has a suggested retail price of $60 from Snug Pack, but you can find it on Amazon for right at 40 bucks. For $40, even $60, you're getting one heck of a good product. The value here for the money is incredible because most under blankets, under quilts are extremely expensive. You know, for 40 bucks, this is very, very impressive. With this blanket being six feet, 11 inches long, this will work for anybody. Someone who's short like me or someone who's six foot plus, right? So it's definitely a thumbs up in that area. When it comes to the width, again, very, very nice. This is so wide that it will work for just about anybody. Now, when it comes to cons, there's one big one, and that would be weight. At 3.1 pounds, this is not lightweight at all, especially when you factor in that you're carrying with you an additional sleeping bag or quilt, basically for the top of you to keep you warm. So as you can see right there, you're carrying with you a lot of weight so that you can use a hammock. Now with my testing so far, I have pushed this down to 29 degrees, and I have used that in conjunction with the Snug Pack hammock quilt. Together, that is a nice system, but that's definitely beginning to push the limits of the top quilt. I believe that you can push this even further. You can push this down into the low 20s, maybe even lower than that with a really good sleeping bag. I will continue to test this system out and let you guys know how it performs in the colder season as that approaches. Now, I really do have to give this thing a thumbs up because the price really is perfect. The ease of setup is very, very good. You could easily string this up here in the matter of minutes. You guys saw me right there. It took me maybe two minutes to tie it off, tie it off, and then done. The quality is top notch. It's exactly what I would expect from Snug Pack. Over the years, Snug Pack really has been impressing me with their products, and this trend continues here with this under quilt, under blanket. <laughs> I keep saying that, don't I? This is what they call the under blanket, not quilt, right? <laughs> But anyways, very, very good quality. It's exactly what I expect from Snug Pack. Yeah, just definitely a thumbs up in my book. Now, I've been testing this product out for roughly three months, and I've used it roughly six nights. Now, the coldest was 29 degrees, but more importantly, I used it one night for an overnight trip, which you guys will see very soon, or have seen, depending on when I put it up. But that night, it was roughly 35 degrees, and the winds were blowing 25 miles an hour. So yeah, this thing really did perform well. It blocked out the winds while keeping me warm at the same time. Yeah, just very, very impressive all in all. So folks, that pretty much wraps up my review of the Snug Pack Hammock Under Blanket. Not quilt. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that, aren't I? Yes, I am. Anyways, this is a good product, especially for the price. If you're interested in taking your hammocking into the colder seasons, this is a great option to consider. One thing that you need to keep in mind is that 
in the colder months, you still need a really good top layer. Of course, with that inexpensive price comes weight. That's the one negative to this product right here. So if you guys have any questions for me, you know what to do. Until next time, strengthen on.